Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to see how you can generate the test result report from the team city. So first of all, I will make certain modification inside the build configuration that is execute test. So I will go to the build step. The build step is MS test. And here, the location of result file. So I'm going to create the result file inside the project that is inside the selenium web driver folder and I will click on save after that I will go back to general settings and here I will generate the artifact that is our result file as well as the log file slow slash star dot log and I'm going to store inside the folder called test result similarly for screenshot so star dot j star because we know that the format of image is jpeg so I'm going to use this regular expression for that and again inside the same folder that is test result and the trx file so same regular expression and the extension will extension will be trx okay so here i have created the three regular expression one to find out the log file second one to find the screenshot and third one to find the result file that is the trx file now i'm going to save it again i will go back to the overview page and execute this build step sorry build configuration so I will navigate to build logs to see the status so it has started the execution So this is the Phantom JS driver. I will wait for test case execution. So the execution is done. I will go back to the overview screen again. And if I look at the artifact, so these are the artifacts which got generated, which include the result file as well as the log file and the screenshot file. So I will open the artifacts. So this is the TRX file. Now let me open it. So this will contain the execution status of the test case which we executed just now from the team city so as you can see here the test case name what is the exception what is the error as well as the error status so this is the trx file along with that we have the log files as well as the screenshot for example if I look at this log file so as you can see here it has recorded all the action which we did on the browser and this is coming from from log 4 net and similarly we have the screenshot for the failed test so this is the screenshot this is one more screenshot and so on okay but from the report point of view it is better to have a HTML report because other because the TRX file is highly dependent on the Visual Studio so whenever you want to open the TRX file you need to take the help of Visual Studio but if you have a HTML file it will be much more readable as compared to TRX file 
so for that I'm going to use a tool which is an open source tool the name of the tool is TRX console which will transform your TRX file to a HTML file so you can view the report in the HTML form so for this I need to add one more build step inside our execute test build configuration so here I will go to build step and before that let me add a parameter so I will go to the parameters add a new parameter so this parameter will tell the location of the executable for the tool so I will call it as TRX console and I will specify the location so this is the location the reason I'm creating the parameter is because it can be used in any build configuration otherwise you need to modify you need to provide this location in every build configuration if you want to use it so now once I have added this parameter this parameter will be applicable to all the build configuration and I can use this parameter if it is needed so again I will go to the bugzilla general setting and we need this parameter inside the execute test build configuration so here I will add a build step and the build step runner type should be command line because it's a command line tool step name let's say report watcher watcher and here I'm going to use our user defined parameter that it that is TRX console and specify the name of sorry the name location of the TRX file so if I go to my execute test and build step so this is the location of our TRX file okay and I'm going to save it along with this I need to add this in the artifact also because this is going to generate the HTML report so general setting along with this I will add the HTML in the artifact and save it now I will go to the overview page and again trigger this configuration So I will wait for the execution to over. So again it will launch the Phantom JS and start executing the test. so the execution is done there is four failure and this is the first step and second step the report watcher is done now I will go back to the overview from here I will go back to the artifact so now you can see here there is a test result dot trx as well as test result dot trx dot html and if I click on it so as you can see here it is now give, giving us the HTML report and from this report you can easily understand that how easy it is to read okay where you can see the failed test case where you can see the failed test case and what is the exception coming for those test case as well as 
the grouping of the test case based on the class and the test okay so this is a very good report from the reader perspective as compared to the trx report and this is an open source tool so if you search for trx console on the internet you can find it so in this manner you can use the team city to generate this kind of html report as well as the trx report and along with that i'm already generating the log file as well as the screenshot so that's all for this video and thanks for watching